Hey everyone, happy Friday. Today we're gonna do it again. I enjoyed last Friday's video so much that I told myself I'm going to do this every Friday. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna look at everything I got for the week. If there's a lot of PR, it might take longer. And another thing I want to do is, I was thinking, now is the perfect time for me to give you guys, the people that watch me the most and have been here the longest, and watch my Friday hauls, I want to give you kind of a sneak peek of what is coming up. Normally, if I buy something, and I know it's gonna be for my holiday blouse video, which I am gonna do, then I wouldn't show you. I would wait and show you when I do it, but I think it'd be even better if I go ahead and show you, that way you'll know if you're interested or not, and before all the sizes get sold out, so that's what we're gonna do. I went to bed last night at, I think, nine o'clock. And when I got up this morning, I got up at 5.30, I came around the corner and the counter was full of boxes. So I guess the holidays are starting up and UPS and FedEx is running late sometimes. So I was so excited to have so much stuff to go through and I haven't opened it. I got John to just open my boxes before he went to work, but I haven't looked at anything. Okay, I placed another order at Skims, and I want to eventually do a whole Skims video because I want to tell you what's worth it and what isn't, because there is definitely a difference. And I have ordered so many things now, I feel like I can tell you. What is worth it are these stretchy, next to nothing thongs. I love, like so many others, the hanky pankies and the, um, I don't like the commandos as much, but I do like the on gossamer. But when push comes to shove, not even when push comes to shove, when I open the drawer, these are the ones I look for. These are the ones that are all at the top. These are the ones that I'm pulling out of the dryer. So I got three more pair and they're not very expensive really considering they're not any more expensive than Victoria's Secret. And I get the size small in the black and nude are always my go-tos. Like I have the red and stuff like, but I have to kind of already know in my head what I'm gonna wear. So black is usually my go-to. A bra that I ordered last time, I have not even tried it on, but I feel pretty certain it's gonna fit. It is the, oh gosh, I think it was called like Deep Plunge. But what I liked is they had a size small, double D. So I won't be like spilling out of it. I think there are other ones I'm pretty much spilling out of them. These, I think this will be better. I can already tell because you can see like how much stretch and stuff there is in this. I'm looking forward to that. So I will let you know you know, how those fit. And then, oh gosh, I didn't even bring it down here, but I did. Last night I steamed everything except for what you see here. And I took pictures in case I wanted to just show pictures. I'm, I'm gonna try to not make it an hour. Last time it was, I don't know how long it was before I edited last week's video. If you haven't watched it, I'll put it up here. But I think it was over two hours and it just took me so long to edit it, and it took it so long to upload that I don't want to take too long because then I can't get it done. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this so I can get it out of here so I don't break it. I showed you the candles that I got last week from Michael, and he sent me those little tarts. And so I wanted to get something very simple that took up minimal space that I liked to burn those. So I ended up finding this, this little like mason jar type burner. And I loved that it wasn't just clear, that it was this, it's almost like, I guess you would say it's like a blackened silver, or something like that. And then it just has this little cup to put your, you know, tart in. And then it has the light bulb. And something I got that ended up being kind of a fail is I saw these, the wax liners, but they don't fit in here, which is no big deal. But if you do have one you think would fit, I think that is a cool idea. 
as soon as I pulled this out, I ordered it from Amazon. As soon as I pulled it out of the box, John was just like, oh, that's cool. I like that. I think it's because I think we all love like the traditional mason jars. You know, you see it's really posh to drink out of them. And, you know, I think it's nostalgic too. We all just have memories of these. And I just liked how it was cool looking because it's that dark color, sorry. And I think it's gonna take up just such little space like on the kitchen. I'm actually gonna put it over there with my ice maker and the coffee maker because it kind of goes with the stainless steel. I always think like at, during the week what I want to tell you, like report back to you. The Natasha Denona palette is a little bit too warm for me but there is two dark colors in it that are so good to put over liner that I'm gonna keep it. The Dean Davidson, oh my gosh, those long earrings, I'll put a picture in here. They are magnificent. They are such stunners and easy to wear. And they go a little bit, they're kind of like us. They go a little bit glamorous. They can go a little bit edgy and they're easy to wear. You know what I mean? Like every day. She sent me this box and here is her new ring. I don't know the names, but I would, will put everything down below. This one is really cool. I did an unboxing on my Instagram. Another thing I wanted to tell you is, you know how I always say I wish I could shop for every one of you guys? And I do in a lot of ways. Like a lot of times I will buy something just to show you. And I have 10 other things that are just like it. And I, I don't know, I won't stop that completely just because that's how I am. I like to have a lot of things that are just alike because I'm pretty stuck with my style. That's what you wanna do is find what works and double down. I have hired somebody to help me with like collages and collections so that I am still the one that chooses everything but I have a way to post it somewhere for you to see, like holiday shoes, like blouses for the holidays to wear with jeans, things like that. So on my like to know it, if you'll follow me there, you will see those things. And when I mention something on here, I will try to link those so that you can see them because that is just, I spent like probably two hours this morning just shopping for because um, it's still going to be my style, but it might be things that I wouldn't wear as much. Or like yesterday, I wore my Gucci sneakers and I love those things. Probably favorite tennis shoes I've ever had. So I know not everyone wants to spend that money and I don't blame you. So I found a lot of them that look like that. So I will have like a sneaker page that goes with that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and like to know it. Now, where was I going with that? Okay, here is another ring. This is like the turquoise one that I have, but it's in the gold. I think it's called an Arlo, the Arlo ring. Very cool, but simple. Then this, this is so old school too. This heavy curb link bracelet. Jenny's stuff is very heavy, not heavy as in Heavy, heavy, but it's heavy and nice. Like you will not feel like you have on just junk jewelry or costume jewelry. It's very, very nicely made. So here is our bracelet. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. Okay, here is the necklace. This with a, like a white, either a white crew neck t-shirt, which I'm getting ready to do a white t-shirt video or a white tank top or all black and your black, that black blazer and some leggings and boots. It's just like something so simple and it does have like a piece you can take out to make it smaller. I've got to go in a minute to take Will to school, but I just thought I would get started with this. I was so excited this morning to show you everything. I was, I was just thinking, I wonder, I know you do, but I was thinking, I wonder if other people feel like this because I get so excited, like my heart will skip a beat or, there have been times when I have found something and like my hands, like they don't go numb, but they kind of tingle just because I got excited really quick. But okay, so here it is. And I, if you've been here with me, you know I love the look of an ID bracelet or an ID necklace. I think it, and signet rings, they're just so classic. 
So I'm going to keep that on so you can look at it. And then this really cool, big, heavy, funky bangle. Love it. Let's see what we're going to do next. I feel like I should do something that's kind of short since I'm going to have to go take Will to school. So let me go get a box of something, something small. Hold on. Okay, so this is something that came that I just thought I would show you. And it is my Modere order that I get every month. And I get the Collagen Pure. This is like if you're on low carb keto, this is what you would take. Improves joint mobility. It's um, dietary supplement. Okay, sugar-free. Firms, toneness, sugar-free. And then my tray biotic. This is the, the little beady looking stuff that I put on the chocolate trim. This is helps reinforce healthy gut function, immune response, and overall wellness. Okay, I don't always take this. John, this is for John, but sometimes I do. It just depends. It depends on if I think about it. But this is my favorite. And even if you just take this and the Tribiotic, this is the chocolate, tastes just like jello, chocolate jello pudding, or that, that's how I would describe it. This has half of a day's collagen. And because I'm carnivore, I already get a lot of collagen. So I feel like that is probably enough. But this is so yummy. It comes in different flavors, but I like the chocolate. I look forward to it. Guys, I'm going to so. wrap it up for right now, put my camera back on the charger, and then when I get back from taking Will to school, we will continue. And before my hair gets any more messed up, I wanted to tell you, if you watched my hair video that I did, I posted it day before yesterday, this is the same hair. So this is day three. So you see that the curl is just looser, no extra hairspray or of any kind, no extra body spray that I showed you. The only thing I have done is use the Colleen Rothschild serum, one pump, work it in your hands really good like that, and then run it through. I do the underneath of my hair. I grab it and then run it through, then brush it out, then sleep with it up in one of those spirally things. So that's what I did the past two nights. And last night I even brushed it completely through and then slept with it up because you don't want to brush it completely through in the morning because you'll, if you want like the tousled messy look, if you don't, then brush it through. But if you wanted the separated look, don't brush it in the morning. Maybe just brush it underneath. I don't need to because I brushed it out and I slept with it up. But I, I will say on the third day, see how this has gotten just a little bit frizzier. That's just because I've been in and out of the house. I've slept on it. My hair is naturally frizzy. And so a little bit more of that will come through, but I almost like it. It's kind of like I say, when you're growing your bangs out, you just need to enjoy them the whole way down. You need to find different styles. That's what I do with my hair. Like today, I could have put it up in a cool ponytail because I have that volume. So that's what I would say. If you curl your hair, make the most of it. Make it last at least three days. Okay, so I'll be right back after I take Will to school. It'll probably be about an hour. See you then. So I got a pair of shoes from J. Crew. They had a sale. I think it was, I think everything I got was 30% off. And these, I was gonna get the gold ones. They have, they have these in black and gold, but I ended up getting this combination. And it comes with a shoe bag. And I hope I like it. <gasps> no, 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 this is something totally different. Oh, I'm thinking of, um, I got Tory Burch coming up too. This is something, oh my gosh. <sighs> you guys, okay. This might not be the most practical but we don't always have to wear practical shoes. Sometimes you need a little pair of shoes that make you feel, look at the shoe. Oh my goodness, it gives me butterflies. Look at this baby. Please let these fit me. Is that not the most perfect size heel? Look at that. And with the black piping on the edge, this with any, slip dress. I mean, go to I, go to Zara, go to H&M, go to Walmart, go to anywhere and get an inexpensive slip dress. Then 
find a nice faux fur and put these shoes on and you are set for any Christmas party, any New Year's Eve party. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love these. Please let these fit. I got an eight and I will try them on and then hopefully put some footage in here. Okay, now let's get to the clothes that I ordered from J. Crew. This is going to be interesting. I want to do a video, I think I already said, on like all my white t-shirts, all my cashmere sweaters, all my black t-shirts, all of my tank tops. So far, well, don't even let me get into it, but this tank top I think is going to be in the running from J. Crew. It has that really cool flattering neckline. It has the great like ribbing. Oh my gosh, this is a pretty tank top. Yes, look at this one. Love it. I love red. That is one color, red and pink. I like green now too. I, I think I've gotten better about wearing color. I think black, all black is just a go-to. It's easy, it's kind of like my uniform. It's what I feel, you know, I just know I'm gonna feel good in it. So it's like a default to go to black, but I have started branching out. So I will steam these and wear these soon. This with like those um, Ripley Raider magic pants and your heels set, you're just set. I want to get some good, good looking, soft, nice fitting, like graphic tees for us because I think I like graphic tees in the winter more than I do in the summer because I think they look so good underneath like this blazer or that cardigan blazer or a moto under anything. And I saw this one and they had every one's, of course, had all of the horoscopes. They're different colors. So when I got to mine, I actually liked the color. This is the color of like handbags that I like. I've got that Balenciaga that's this color and on Nordstrom, they have a YSL bag that is almost this color. So I got this for us to try. And I have learned that if I don't love the fit, I will cut the sucker up and make it work. I haven't tried any of their jeans in so long. I got this pair and I forgot even, it kind of feels silly getting other jeans as much as I like these Walmart ones, but these were supposed to be a little different. Okay, I think, I think I remember now. Yes, slim demi boot with perfecting pockets. Okay, let me stand up and I'll just show you what they look like. Oh yes, oh yeah, okay, these are gonna be different. So they go straight down and they flare out just the slightest bit. Okay, I think, okay, I remember where my mind was now when I ordered these. This is gonna be a good pair of jeans for the holidays to wear with blouses because it is going to showcase your heels. So I will probably, okay, these, this is the kind of jeans that you do not wear with a cream, a tan, or white bag because I, I don't know if it was before YouTube or if you guys witnessed it, but I had this Hobo Lucky bag that I loved so much. My mom and dad gave it to me one Christmas and it was a tan suede and I ruined it with a dark pair of jeans. So be really careful, but I will. I'll take a, a black bag, but I usually do wash anything this dark. I'll wash it first. This came with my order. That is so cute. Wow. I saw it go in there when I put everything in my cart, but I didn't know it was gonna be that good. Oh my goodness, you guys. That is a nice little tote. It's got an inside pocket. I mean, that is something you could totally use as a bag, you know, in the summer. Wow, okay, good gift. This is something that I am really excited about. I'm hoping I'm going to love them. I saw this on the website and I was like, oh my gosh. Remember when we got these, one of my subscribers told me about them and I think a lot of us got these, but most people missed out because they're Chloe and they were on, I don't know if it was Saks Off Fifth or Nordstrom Rack, 
It was one of those and they ran out. Usually when you see a pair of sunglasses on there, if there's only a few left. Well, I saw these and I think that they're similar. It's a pair of aviators, so it does come in a nice case. And if I love them, there was two more colors. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so they're not quite as jazzy as these, but that might be even better. I love these with the, um, the gradient. Oh my goodness, I love them. Okay, let me go look at them in my mirror real quick. Yes, yes, you need them. You need them. They are so worth the money because I look at sunglasses everywhere I look and that is so good. Sorry, my light back there is messing things up, but this, these are fabulous. Okay, now I want the ones, my first love were the green ones. You'll see those. And these are the ones that I couldn't decide whether to get black or gold and then I saw these. And I want to do a lot of winter white styling videos coming up. I love, I love all winter white. I love all white. So I thought these shoes, both of these shoes are kind of geared towards that look and that video. Mm. Look at these. Chocolate suede and then the metallic silver and then the beige. They like winter white. Just fabulous. These are like a work of art. And see how they're the puffy that is so popular. Oh my goodness, you guys, they are just beautiful. I think my favorite part is that brown suede right there. That is just so pretty. Wow, they're so pretty. Okay. okay, this is for the winter white also. They're the Tory Burch sneakers. And I can't remember, these are like their most popular. I can't remember what the name is, like, I can't remember, Lucky or something like that. They are beautiful. Wow. I love like the tone on tone. It is gonna be something to keep these clean, but so many people like them, so they can't be too bad. Oh, they're pretty. These, not even with all winter white. Just think of these with even all black or these with like the outfit I have on now. Oh, they're pretty and they're very, very light. That is it as far as I can remember of everything that I got this week. And I do have more things coming in, but like I said, I wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek as to what's coming up. And make sure you follow me on Like to Know It. I'm working on doing a giveaway. I just need to, oh my gosh, I am so glad I thought about this. I wish I would have said it in the beginning. Please don't fall for that scammer. If anyone tries to get money from you, or they say you've won a prize and they ask you to do a lot of different things. That is not me. It's kind of like, I know it's hackers, but I think what it is is like a bot and it goes out because I have gotten those too from like Hung Van Gogh and just all kinds of people that I know would never, you know, message me. So I will never, ever ask you for any money. I will never ask you to send me anything. I will never, that will just never be the case. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you this weekend. Bye-bye.